why did we not know i not know as a generation uh raised in the 80s uh or the never know that bobby uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm sorry I won't laugh. Every time I think of Bobby, I think of Bobby Brown. Poor Bobby Brown. Anyway, <laughs> Bobby Taylor discovered the Jacksons. It is, I even researched it last night. We're going to go into that later. But I want to know, like, why was we told that Dinah Ross and Gladys Knight, but mainly it was pushed that Dinah Ross discovered the Jacksons? Do y'all not think that that is so odd, as big as Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5 is? And this man supposedly wrote four songs for them and brought them to Barry Gordy. And he discovered, not, not I know everybody's like, well, I discovered them first. I already know they played in nightclubs and stuff. But he was the one that brought them to Barry Gordy and set them up. He's never gotten credit for it. He's never gotten mentioned for it on a national stage. And it's like he was just wiped out of the history. But if you look at the internet, it's everywhere. Like everywhere. It's odd. It's weird. It's just very weird. The biggest pop star icon in the world, really, of our life and this man was never even credited. It was Dinah Ross for discovering the Jacksons and taking them to Motown. Was they trying to sweep it under the rugs because there was something that happened? Or was Bobby Taylor when he took responsibility for Michael taking showers, sleeping in the bed? And all that staying with him for 10 days. Was he, by exposing his cell, was he trying to expose others? I have so many questions. This is just really weird to me. I never even seen this that Bobby Taylor discovered the Jacksons. You know who was handing them the award? Dinah Ross. After when they just they were, were received into the national uh, awards or whatever when they got the you know recognition, Diana Ross handed out the awards. This man was never mentioned. Can somebody tell me why? I have questions. 